Hi traders and welcome to our price section trading school, uh, our advice price section trading school, uh, session 11. Uh, today's agenda is actually uh, candlesticks. So we will be talking about candlesticks, uh, most important things uh, about candlesticks and which candlesticks you should uh, always use in price action trading. Before I start, Quick disclaimer explain that uh, all material is made by uh, Elite Currency and this is my personal opinion only, so uh, treat this as information. Uh, Forex is uh, risky and uh, everything you do, you should always pre-calculate, always pre-calculate your risk. Don't forget that all leverage products are subject to a complete loss of your account if you are not no, if you don't know what you're doing. So, I presume that you all know that, so we can proceed. Uh, our next step is actually uh, talking about today's agenda, types of charts, intro to candlesticks, candlestick meaning, candlestick patterns, swing, historical, and now moment buyers and sellers, trend and range. So, part of this will be, uh, of course, on slides, and other part, of course, will be uh, on our uh, live chart. So we will be doing uh, both uh, uh, things combined. So both live charts, course, and and uh, slides. First of all, let me tell you uh, different types of charts. So uh, one of the things how we uh, see the price on the chart is by using line charts, bar charts, and candlestick charts. Uh, the main point is that at the bottom here, guys, is always the time, okay? And the price is always either to the upside or to the downside. Usually, when price is going up, you will see a blue, a white or a blue candlestick. When price is going down, you will see a black or red candlestick. Depending, of course, on your template, colors may change, but usually that is the way how we do it. Also, guys, uh, range bars uh, are something that we will also mention during the course of uh, our price action trading school. Then we will be doing, of course, a cake and ashy candles. So everything will be covered. Uh, the, the very specific thing about range bars and Renko bars, Renko, Renko bricks and point and figure is that they don't use time. They just use the price. And that is also one of we can say that can be an advantage, but also it can be a disadvantage, but more on this later during the course. We use candles, guys. Elite currency uses candles for uh, approximation of the price, trend, momentum, and of course, uh, now moment uh, buyers and sellers. So for all we do, guys, we use candles. That is a very, very important thing. So have in mind, that applying and using candlestick chart is the way how we in lead currency actually are doing. Candlestick is a major representation of the price. And candlestick tells us a lot of, lot of important things. First thing is the open, then we have a high, close, and a low. This is a bullish candlestick, guys, okay? This is a bullish candlestick. The bullish candlestick is usually, as I said, white. The height of the candle is the wick. This is the high. We call this a wick or shadow. And we also co call this wick of shadow also to the downside. So this is the high. This is the low. This is the open. This is the close. So each candlestick, guys, shows three important data points. Okay. The open, the high, the close, and the low. And this is a basic uh, calculation for a candlestick, it's if it's a bullish or bearish or a candlestick pattern, we use these calculations. Each candle has time frame. Daily chart show daily candles, one hour chart show one hour candles. So we all know that right. Now, one of the most important things is guys to have to see a, a clear, nice form uh, uh, candlestick because I based my Camarilla MACD, what I trade is also based on candlesticks because if my system gives me a signal, I personally will assess a signal from my system to see 
if it's a valid or not. Most of the time, it will be valid. But if I see that something is not quite right, then I might uh, rethink and maybe I will not enter the market. Because most of the time, I use candlestick confirmation or just a uh, candlestick as an additional cue that the price will go up or down. The, the, the wick or the upper shadow will show the highest price. The body of the candles is important, but in my opinion, the wick or the shadow is more important. And you will see, guys, especially during the you will see why I think and why I stand behind my claim that wicks are more important than bodies. So the upper wick show the highest price. OK, and we have usually the top that is opening or closing price, whichever is greater. Then we have the body. Then we have center section. Again, body is white or hollow if the close is higher than the open. So it's a bullish candle. Usually the body is black if the close is lower than the open. So opening of closing of the price is here and the lower shadow is here. So these shadows are very important. Now, bullish candle is white. Alternatives can be blue or green. Again, it's same thing. High, close, low. Bearish candle, high, close, low. The open is here. Okay. See it there, guys. Open, 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 open. You see? The open is here. For the bullish candle, the, the open is there. Bearish candle drops while bullish candle spikes or bounces. Alternative colors for uh, bearish candles are usually red and gray. Okay, so these are bullish candles. These are bearish candles, okay? The high is the same, the low is the same, but the open and the close are, guys, different. This is the open for the bearish, close for the bearish. This is the open for the, uh, open for the bullish and close for the bullish candle. Okay, body of the candle, important but wicks are more important guys this is bullish wick this is called bearish wick okay this is a bullish wick this is bearish wick it doesn't matter which uh, type of candle it is okay it can be a bullish candle bearish candle but the same thing applies to them bullish wick is always found at the top bearish wick is found at the bottom bullish wick is found at the top bearish wick is found at the bottom okay now guys regarding uh, candles what can you read from it candle sizes guys are very very important small candle will usually mean an indecision in the market large candle will give us more importance big candles guys are momentum candles okay so small candle is indecision large candle more importance Big candles are momentum candles, okay? You need to have in mind that, yeah, that uh, big candles are momentum candles and that we occasionally can trade also those uh, big candles, doesn't matter, bullish or bearish, in a form of high volatility trading, HVT, that I will also teach you during the course of price action trading school. The key information with reading candles is a candle week. Large week indicates weakness or strength. Weak on bottom is bearish weakness. Weak on top is bullish weakness. What you see here, guys, is the base of my entries for Camarilla MACD MTF. Of course, guys, uh, price action trading school, just a slight aggression, is free. But when you complete price action trading school, you will receive a free template of practical naked trading. The first course that I did back time when I was a very, very active member of Forex Factory. And you will have a huge discount on Camarilla MACD MTF and Camarilla MACD products that have been verified with my FX book. So it's of utmost importance that you go with full course here on Price Action Training School because when you finish this school, you will have a huge step towards becoming fully fledged trader, guys. And as I say, everything can be very easily verified. For all of you who don't know who who are new in Forex market, well, it's normal. Every trade that we make, we make it in a spreadsheet and we also have MyFixBook account set. So 
Let's go step by step. Key information with reading candles. Candle week, large week indicates weakness or strength. Week on the bottom, guys, this is the week on the bottom. It indicates, okay, bullish strength. This is important. When I go, when I want to buy, I usually want to see this week. When I want to see my proprietary T89 pattern, I always see it best with these weeks. These dodges are not good. They look like crosses, but they are not, uh, they don't tell us that if the market will go up or down. Usually, doji is a indecision in the market. So I tend to skip them. This is bullish candle. This is bearish. Okay, bullish, bearish. Very important, guys. When you see this, market will probably go down if all other price action tools are aligned. This is a signal for a sell. When you see this, this is a signal for a buy. Again, when all other price action tools are aligned. This is a pin bar. Uh, the most important uh, pattern, in my opinion, and I like it the most. So this is the pin bar, guys. This is the pin bar. So we have a tail. It's called weak or shadow, the body. And this small wick is called the nose. So when you see a pin bar, guys, it usually means that uh, your trade will instantly go down or up depending of course on other uh, on other confluence points but this is a strong signal guys that the price will go down with bearish pin bar or it will go up with bullish these are all buyers here these are all sellers here sellers buyers are pushing the price to the upside or sellers are rejecting so that is why price usually proceeds with a momentum after those pin bars let's use this information Let's say just for example, candle high 1.1284, candle low 12.04, candle close 12.10, candle open 12.80. Candle body is high minus low. Okay, just use these numbers. Bullish week is high minus open. Bearish week is close minus low. Bullish week is for, okay, divided by 80. Bearish week is, so these are percentages. You don't need to know that. But this is how you can calculate the percentages also on candles. Usually the platform itself, we use MT4 now really most of the time and 100% of the time now we are totally on MT4. Uh, of course, this, inform this information can be found uh, uh, very, very easy on MT4, okay, and the MT5, guys, okay. It's very, very easy to read it. Uh, I will show you right away. So here, guys, for example, uh, you see when you click here, you will have a terminal. This is data window. Put this, you can put this data window here. Okay. And here, guys, if you go to a candle, for example, here, you will see, uh, see this uh, window here. Okay. And read the information here. High 9905, low 9884. Close. Everything is written here. So this is a very, very, very useful information. Okay. Now let's get back. Importance of weeks. Uh, weeks as a strength. Will we see a bullish candle? Always check the week on the bottom. If it's a strong close like this, trend continuation is likely to happen. Bearish pin bar. You have a week. You have a body. If the week is big, higher than the body, bigger than the body, we don't have a small nose, or we can have a small nose here, then the price will probably continue to go down. We say go north if uh, in the case it's a bullish, or go south in the case it's bearish. So how do candles impact the charts and the price? Okay, candles can be combined to form candlestick patterns. Usually, guys, combination of two or three candlesticks will form a pattern. Bearish pattern, bullish pattern. Okay, so this is one of the examples. But what we do here also on Elite Currency, we have some indicators, guys, that will definitely help you out in finding those candlestick. Uh, this, this is the old indicator, but I really like it because it shows a lot of other configurations here, guys. And of course, when you finish the, the full price section trading school, uh, you will uh, receive this indicator for free. This is one of, of indicators we give for free. You see, uh, all of these candlestick patterns, guys, can be seen on the chart. But I will show you the most important ones 
that we use. We don't use all of this because it will be really, really uh, too much. Okay, uh, just give me a few seconds. I lost my chart. I will, I will just or open it right away. Yeah, I accidentally clicked uh, on. Just give me a few seconds. Okay. Yeah, I accidentally clicked, guys, on the close. I will just proceed further. So you can see this uh, indicator shows multiple of these patterns, but not of them are all important. I personally use really not much. I use, let's say, maybe four or five at the most to give me uh, the cue if I should buy or I should hold with my signal. Okay, so it's always like that. So you either buy or sell or you do nothing. Sometimes not having a position e equals to having to having a profitable position in the market. Okay, so we can continue. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, give me just a few seconds here. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, yeah. So candlesticks. Candlestick types and candles. We talk about it. So patterns. Group of candles will make a swing. It's important to know that every swing will have a swing high and a swing low. And especially, guys, if you are a swing trader, swing traders, you want to see full swings on a usually higher time frames. So that is why I usually go to four hour time frame and I want to see swings. So you can also, guys, use a zigzag indicator, usually on default settings that will show you the swing. Uh, it's okay to have this uh, normal indicator, guys. It's, it's default here, you see. These are swings now, okay? You can always see the swing. Swing high, swing low. Swing high, swing low. Swing high, swing low. But when you're experienced, you won't be needing a zigzag to show you the exact swing, okay? Uh, all important candlesticks that we teach and that we use are here, guys. Uh, except for, I might say, a uh, few more that I will uh, cover uh, in uh, on a real chart. Long green candle, long red candles, guys. These are... Or you can call it, as I said, blue or, or, or uh, black. Usually people like to see those greens and other colors like greens, blues, magentas, reds. So long bullish candle, we say green here. Long bullish candle are important because they signify uh, bullish strength. Long red candles, long bearish candles signify bearish momentum and strength. Hammer signifies... Usually, when the price goes down, this will appear buying from support. That is why I bought today Euro dollar. And now, currently, I'm monitoring Euro dollar trade. It's very close to break even. So, basically, that is why uh, I, I, I bought it because I saw two, three hammers also with the divergence. And this signifies usually a counter trend move. When you see uptrend, okay, this in uptrend will signify. Guys, continuation, inverted hammer, uh, also after a downtrend or a shooting star after uptrend. So after a downtrend, this can be a nice continuation. Shooting star after uptrend, a rejection. Spinning tops mean, mean do not do anything. Simply stay away from uh, uh, the trade. You will have another chance. Spinning top is indecision, so you don't pull by yourself. No matter what your system tells you, if you see a spinning top, guys, do not buy or sell. You wait. Doges also as a spinning top and in decisive candles. You simply, even if your system tells you buy or sell, you don't do anything. Doges and spinning tops. Long green, long red candles. And this is how it looks on the chart, guys. Uh, you don't need all of these patterns. As I say, uh, we will cover them. But later during the web, uh, during the course of price action trade school, but simply guys follow the candlesticks naked. You see, this is a strong sell. This is a strong sell. You see this. This is a buy here, big candle buy. 
this buy here continuation from the uh, to the upside so we will cover cover all these patterns uh, both candlestick and chart so always focus on weeks big week on higher time frames such as four hour daily signifies sellers or buyers especially if you go to daily time frame guys watch this big week uh what is what is what is this this is actually a form of shooting star it went down this is a form of a hammer it went up in the CZ candle you wait uh here up sell you see so it's very important that you understand that you only need to have those couple of candlesticks in order sorry guys in order to proceed with your uh, let's say at least analysis before you make a trade so once more all important guys uh wait where, where is the okay all important candlesticks are there okay you don't need more than this focus on wicks focus on big bodies remember guys what i'm telling you i know what i'm what i'm saying you will find a lot of information just to uh, confuse you to mind melt you you don't need it all important candlesticks big candlesticks weeks more important than bodies guys weeks are more important than bodies spinning tops you don't do anything dojis and spinning tops you don't do anything why are weeks more important than bodies because they signify real smart money smart money started to sell from this pot a new a retail trader joined here smart money started to buy again guys at this spot you a retailer retail trader probably joined here you are late guys you see price had already made its move and you are late that is why you can combine historical sellers with now moment sellers historical buyers with now moment buyers usually when historic when now moment buyers are usually you will see historical buyers and sellers it doesn't matter because the biggest advantage in the forest market is the price repeats itself so here we said sellers what same here guys sellers watch here buyers watch here buyers watch here fake buying retest selling buyers 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 from the same spot in the history how many times you saw this but you didn't know what this is that is why 95 percent of educators and mentors will not tell you this thing this is one of the basis of my uh trading i always check historical buyers and sellers and now yeah you see i made a counter trend move and i think really that euro dollar will go more to the upside i just hope but you see, sometimes you really need experience with this in order to go with counter trend because counter trend moves are harder to trade than trend moves. Okay, guys, so this is very important information. This webinar is being recorded. It will be uploaded to YouTube channel. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, guys. Uh, also, if anything is not clear, just leave your uh, question in the comment section below and i will take care of it i will reply so i guess that everything is clear uh, next session is on wednesday until then guys stay tuned and watch our analysis on elite currency fxdd and of course check our ecs live services talk to you soon guys cheers